Amen. What a blessing it is to be in the Lord's house again tonight. Amen. Glad for each and every one that has come out to be with us. You pray tonight that God will have His way in everything that He said and done. Amen. That we can go out and say that it's been good. Amen. To be in the Lord's house. And uh, uh, pray tonight that God will have His way. Pray for our revival. Next week, amen. As Brother Jack will be traveling to Reeds for each time. Amen. Pray for them. Pray that God will give him the very best that uh, we need. Amen. That will help us, help the church, amen. help uh, help the ones that are lost, help the ones that are backslid. Amen. Draw them closer to God. Amen. We uh, pray tonight and above everything, amen, that his name be glorified. Amen. Amen. And uh, we uh, was up at the nursing home today and actually we had a had a real good service up there. Had a real good crowd. Amen. And God just richly blessed. And uh, on the way back home, uh, the Lord laid a thought on the heart. <clears throat> Amen. And I, I want to share that with you tonight. Amen. And uh, tonight I want you to listen Man, just listen. So many times we're looking, mm -hmm. but we're not listening. Amen. Other things has got us preoccupied. Amen. And we're thinking about that chicken that's on the stove that we're going to make us a sandwich out of when we get home. Amen. Just <laughs> different things. But just clear your mind. Amen. And uh, listen to what God's Word says, and it'll help you tonight. Amen. If you want to read with us tonight, we're going to be in the book of Matthew in chapter number 7. Amen. And now in verse number, uh, verses number 20, 25 and 26. Amen. And number 27. And then we're going to go over into uh, the book of Matthew in chapter number uh, 13. Amen. In verse number 30, either my glasses are dirty or I'm going blind. Amen. Because I can't hardly see you up here tonight. Amen. <laughs> but listen to what uh, the Word of God says tonight. And in Matthew chapter number 7, verse number 25, And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the waters, and the winds blew, and beat up on that house, and it fell not. For it was founded upon the rock. And every one that heareth thee saith the mine, and doeth that not, shall be likened unto a foolish man, which built his house upon the sands. And the rain descended, and the floods come, and the winds blew, and beat up on that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. Okay, now over in the book of... Uh, Matthew in chapter number 12. Amen. Down in verse number 30. He said, Let both grow together until the harvest. And in the time of the harvest, I will say to the reapers, Gather you together. First the tares, and bind them in bundles to burn them. But gather the wheat into my barn. Amen. Let us pray. Father, Dear Lord, it's again, God, we come to you tonight with thankful hearts. Thank you, Lord, for another time. Thank you, God, for another opportunity. Lord, we pray tonight that, Father, you would have your way, God, in everything, Lord, that is said and done. And, Father, we pray tonight, Lord, most of all, that, Lord, that your name, God, would be exalted above every name. And Lord, we pray, Father, if we've done or said anything throughout this week, God, that would hinder this in any way, Father, we pray tonight that Lord, thou would forgive us of it and pull us up close to the cross and God make uh, a preaching easy. And Lord, Father, how we love you and how we praise you, God, for what you've done, for Lord, that which you're doing, and God, for what you're going to do for us one day after a while. Lord, Father, we pray tonight, God, to have your way, uh, Father, in everything, Lord, that is said and done. And God, whatever's accomplished, Lord, will I fail, Father, to bow our head, Lord, and to give you the praise. 
For God, we ask it all in Jesus' holy and precious name we do pray. And amen and amen. If I had a thought to lay upon this tonight, I'd like to use a thought just for a little while on live by the cost or pay the cost. Amen. I want you to think about that just for a few minutes. Live by the cost or pay the cost. Amen. We find here in the Word of God, in the book of Matthew, that it is not actually talking about houses, but it's talking about lives that are built. Amen. And brother, I'm telling you, when you go to build anything, it costs something. Amen. And our salvation costed something. Amen. It costs God to send His darling Son to a sin sick world to die upon a tree. Amen. That me and you might have the right and might have the opportunity. Amen. And might have the means of enjoying a Christian life that has already been paid for. Amen. Boy, I'm glad tonight that thank God I didn't have to do anything to earn it. Amen. I didn't have to work for it. Amen. But it was given free of charge, amen, tonight, that I could have a life that was hid in God, amen, and boy, I tell you, when you get that life, and that life is hid in God, there is nothing any sweeter, amen, than, than to live for Him, amen, there is not a life that is any better upon the face of the earth than to live for the one that paid the cost uh, for you and me. Amen. Amen. Brother, we find in, uh, in both right. sections of the Word of God that both houses, they had storms that come their way. Amen. Tonight, man, right. they've been a many of the store in my life. And I'm sure that I have been a lot of storms in your life. And there are probably more storms to come. Amen. But I'm glad tonight that we can live by the cost of uh, that's already been paid. Amen. Uh, and boy, I'm glad that Peter said tonight, uh, he said, I come and I taste the death uh, for every man. Uh, I'm glad John 3, 16, uh, I said, for whosoever uh, I shall call upon the name of the Lord, uh, I shall be saved. Uh, I'm glad tonight, thank God, uh, I'm living a life tonight uh, has already been paid amen. for. Amen. 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 They have not come anything new on that day. Amen. I'm glad that through His blood and by His grace I'll be able to hear in over on the other side. Amen. I'm glad. I thank God that this life that we can have is structured by an almighty God. tonight if you're a child of God you're in a life tonight praise the Lord that uh, the cost has done already been paid. Amen. Tonight boy deliverance has done already been said. A uh, freedom has done already been given. Uh, amen. Tonight there's a Christ uh, that can live on the inside of us uh, that makes everything possible uh, for you and me. Uh, when we don't think we can do it uh, and God says we can. Uh, we need to go for it. Hey man, tonight, brother, I'm telling you uh, one thing that you can show the world tonight uh, when the old storms come uh, and the winds blow. Uh, hey man, tonight in that house uh, that you're living in uh, uh, comes out uh, with a new fresh coat of paint uh, and it looks better uh, coming out than it did uh, going in. Uh, that's when God uh, gets His glory. Amen. Tonight I'm glad. I thank God through the storms. He is a shelter. I'm glad one writer said, I found shelter in the rock. Amen. I'm glad tonight. He is the rock of our salvation and our shelter in that rock. I'm glad tonight. He ain't never been a storm so big of a one God. Oh, 
tonight thank God that the price of the cost has done already been paid. Amen. Tonight when he died upon the cross, he died for you and he died for me. He died for the sins of the whole world. He come into a world that was sin rich. Amen. He come into a world that was unstable. He come into a world that was looking for a king. He come into a world that was looking for a way out. He come into a world that I, that was a seeking for something they couldn't find. He come into a world tonight, a man tonight that had no hope. He was hell bound. A man tonight he come into a world that didn't care anything about him. He come into a world. Uh, that mocked him. Uh, he come into a world uh, that made fun of him uh, and used his name in vain. Uh, he come into a world uh, that accused him uh, of the 33 and a half years uh, that he lived on this side. Uh, a man tonight, he didn't come uh, to build fame. Uh, he didn't come to build character. Uh, he didn't come to be recognized. Uh, he didn't come uh, to be the best thing that ever hit the planet, and then he come as a babe in a lonely old stable. Amen. Tonight and tonight, he is the reigning king. Amen. Tonight, he's the Lord of lords and the king of kings. Amen. Tonight, he is a God of heaven and God of the earth and sits on the throne. I'm glad tonight, my boy, when he comes as a babe, but the next time, he's coming cost for you and me. We can live in that cost tonight. Amen. Amen. We can live in something. Amen. That has already been paid for. Amen. You young people tonight. Amen. That's got married. Amen. The young people that are thinking about getting married. Somebody offered you a house. Amen. That was already paid for. Amen. Boy, and said you wouldn't owe them a dime. Amen. Tonight that everything was taken care of. Insurance was paid on it. Amen. Tonight you'd never have to make a rent payment. Never have to make an electric bill. You'd move into it in a heartbeat. You'd be crazy if you didn't. Amen. And the Lord is saying that tonight. He said, boy, I built you a house. Amen. That you can live in. You don't owe me a dime. Amen. Tonight I paid for it all upon Calvary. Amen. Amen. When he cried out, it was finished. Amen. The plan of salvation had done already been laid out. I'm glad tonight. I thank God this old house that I live in. My brother each paid for. I'm glad tonight that the righteousness that I have in him. Is already paid for. I'm glad tonight of the salvation that I have in Him. I don't owe a dime. He paid it all. We died and put the cross for you and me. Thank you, Jesus. We can live by the cost. Praise Jesus. We can live by the cost because it's already been paid for. It's been given to us. Amen. Amen. It's been given to us. Well, I tell you, when you buy a house, amen, tonight you know what you got to do. You got to register that thing. Amen. With the courthouse. The courthouse keeps a record of it. Amen. You might not owe no payments on it, but I guarantee you when it comes to the end of the year, amen, amen. old Uncle Sam will be sticking out his hand. <laughs> Now he said, you won't live here, son. It's time to pay the taxes. <laughs> Amen. Tonight, and boy, I'm telling you what, the economy goes down and the taxes go up. Uh -huh. yeah. Amen. Tonight, brother, I'm glad tonight. Amen. That I own one. Amen. There ain't no taxes on me. Amen. Amen. Tonight, it's mine. Lock, stock, and barrel was given unto me. Amen. By this man called Jesus Christ. He said tonight, he said, I'm going to go away. 
He said, I'm going to build you a mansion. Amen. Amen. Some preachers say that it's a room. My Bible tells me it's a mansion. Amen. Amen. He said, I go away to prepare for you a mansion. Amen. He said, I go away to prepare for you a place. Amen. In the 21st chapter of the book of Revelation, amen, we read about that city. Amen. I'm going to be able to live in one of the most expensive neighborhoods. Amen. That you've ever lived in in your life. Hey man, you can yeah. go to these gated communities, hey man. And brother, you get in there and you got to pay association fees. Hey man, to have the privilege to call that home. Hey man, tonight you pay them so they can tell you what to do, what color to paint your house, what kind of roof to put on. Hey man, what kind of flowers you can have in the front. Hey man, tonight if you don't mow your grass every week, they'll get somebody to mow it for you and you'll have to pay them. Hey man, there's all kind of dues. Hey man, boy, I'll tell you what, I got a city over on the other side. Amen. I praise the sweet name of Jesus. That thing ain't never going to need repair. Amen. Ain't never going to need a new roof. Amen. Ain't never going to have to worry about the lawn being mowed. Hey man, tonight ain't never going to have to worry about paying taxes on it. Hey man, tonight don't even know how much I'll use. And because we'll be so busy praising the Lord all through eternity. Honey, I'm telling you tonight, it's an offer that you can't refuse. It's free and it lasts forever and ever and ever tonight. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Me and Eve, when we moved into the parsonage over there, Hey man, tonight I don't want to get them all. Hey man, I'm thankful for everything that we have. But when we moved into the parsonage, maybe somebody said, well, it needs a little bit of work. Well, not necessarily. What it needed was a little bit of TLC. Amen. Hey man, to your love and care. Hey man, tonight, and boy, I'm telling you, I'd get out there and I'd work on that place a little bit. Amen. Boy, God, just bless my soul. Amen. Boy, that I had a place that I could call home. Amen. Amen. To live in. Amen. Tonight. You know, that old home over there is a temporary place. Y'all might get mad at me by the end of the week and have somebody else in here next week. And I'd have to move. Amen. Amen. Tonight, but boy, when I get over yonder, there ain't going to be no move. Amen. 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 I'm going to be there forever and Amen. ever and ever. Listen yeah. tonight, you can have all of this tonight. Amen. You can have it if you can't afford it. You can have it if you don't have a dime to your name. You can have it if you're so broke. Amen. Tonight you can take two pennies to rub together and still have nothing. Amen. Tonight you can have it. Amen. If you're living in a tent out in the woods. Amen. Tonight you can have it even if you got to eat possum fat off a roadkill. Amen. Because you can't afford anything. Amen. Listen tonight. Boy, I'm telling you what. Amen. Tonight and not only that, but you know what? We're going to have a whole welcome party. Amen. Right. Amen. Tonight, boy, I'm telling you, I've been invited to a supper. Amen. Amen. God bless. Boy, my wife can cook. Amen. You can look Amen. at me and tell me she can. Tell she can. Amen. Tonight, but boy, I've been invited to a supper. Amen. That is going to put her home cooked meals to shame. Oh. Amen. Amen. Tonight, Amen. you may say, preacher, what's that? Amen. Tonight, it's right. the Amen. marriage supper of the Lamb. Amen. 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 Hey, boy, I'm telling you, when we get over all the other side and be able to slide our feet up underneath the Father's table, he said, this is a feast that I have prepared for you Amen. from the foundations of the world. Welcome home, child. Welcome home. Hey, man, tonight, boy, I tell you what, when I get over there, these wrinkles are going to be gone. This lip is going to be gone. This back is going to be stronger than ever. And the mind that can't hardly remember what day of the week it is. Hey man, it's going to be sharp as a tack because I'm going to be brand new in Jesus. Hey man, tonight I'm going up and down the streets of that city shouting hallelujah forever and ever glory to the Lamb. If we can have this, have this, we can live. 
by the cost <laughs> that has already been paid. Or we can live a life till we have to pay the cost. Yeah, come, on, come on, preacher. So we read about two houses. Mm -hmm. It's two different lifestyles. And the Lord said in that other one that whenever the winds come and the rains come, that the house fell. And great was the ruin of that house. You can have a new home. A man that's already been paid for or you'll pay the cost for something that ain't near as good. See, sure tonight, as there's a heaven, there's a hell. Amen. Sure as there's a heaven to gain, there's a hell. Amen. Sure as there are streets of gold that we can walk upon. There's also a lake of fire Amen. that we can live in. Amen. Sure as there's a place to where we can raise both of our hands and worship the Lord and praise Him with all of our heart, there's a place of darkness where night or day will never come. A place where the worm dieth not and we live eternally in the darkness. That's the cost of living a life if you fail to live <clears> on that that the cost is already paid for. Hey Amen. Boy, it seemed like a no-brainer, don't it? Yes, sir. Seemed like a no-brainer to be able to go to heaven for nothing but have to pay a price to go to hell. Amen. Yep. Amen. Amen. Tonight, boy, I'm telling you, I don't see how people get it. Amen. That I enjoy the pleasures of sin. Amen. Tonight, but that pleasures of sin comes with a price that you got to pay. Amen. Tonight, the Bible said in, in Matthew also, he said, let it, let them both grow together. Amen. Tonight, you know what he's talking about? He's talking about the saints. He's talking about the sheep and the wolves. Amen. Tonight he's saying, let them grow together in, in the church. Amen. Let them, let them come together. Amen. Praise God. Heaven only knows a wolf needs to hear this. Amen. Maybe if he'd hear it and really listen to it, he wouldn't be a wolf anymore. Amen. Amen. But he'd change over and take something that has already been prayed, been paid for. Amen. Tonight, don't be quick to judge. Amen. Tonight, because there's not, but one judge. Amen. I told a preacher here a few weeks ago, I said, God didn't call me to judge. Amen. He called me to preach. Amen. 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 He called me to share the gospel of the good news. If it ruffles your feathers, Amen. Tonight, I, I ain't sorry. I'm glad that it did. Amen. Amen. Tonight, if it makes you mad, amen, yeah. you're old enough to work time, you'll get over it. Amen. Yeah. Listen tonight. We can either live in that, that the cost has already been covered, or we'll pay the cost one day after a while. There's people that'll come in and they'll say hallelujah and raise their hands tonight. Amen. That ain't a bit more of a God than a man in the moon. Amen. Tonight, they're like an old crazy hound dog come Monday morning looking for what kind of yeah. trouble they can get yeah. into. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You can't even leave the trash out. Amen. Yeah. Without an old Snoopy dog uh, uh, sticking his nose yeah. down yeah. in it uh, and to uh, turn the bag open. Uh, that's just like a sinner. Uh, Amen. Yeah. They'll come into the house of God uh, all dressed up in sheep's clothing. Uh, they're trying to ram their nose into everything uh, and rip the bag open. Uh, yeah. It caused a lot of trouble. Hey, but I'm glad tonight that God said, let them go to brother. And boy, when they hear the message, there's hope of redemption. And when they enter a while, if they refuse to hear the call, they'll pay the cost. Amen. 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 You're not going to get out of here free. You 
we'll either live by the cost that has already been paid or you'll pay the cost for living the other way. I'm going to tell you something. You know how come that our church, the churches in America, is like they are? People don't take it serious. They don't take it serious. They think that old loud mouth preacher, he gets up there and preaches his heart out to exercise his lungs. <laughs> and they'll get on the outside and they'll do whatever they want to do. I got living proof of that. I had a meeting with a couple one time on a Saturday night. And sat down and went through the Bible and showed them. Hey Amen. They come in that Sunday morning and we talked a little bit more. And I preached a message that Sunday morning. And the stuff that I preached on that we should not do, they met me at the back door and says, when are we going to do this? And I'm thinking to myself, really? <laughs> We talked about a Saturday night. I preached on it Sunday morning. <laughs> and you go ask me something stupid like, where has your mind been? <laughs> they didn't listen to a thing in the world that I told them. Not one thing. You'll live by the cost that has already been paid, or you'll pay the cost. <coughs> when we get to the end of life's journey, God said there's going to be a separation. And He said we're all going to stand before God. And that book is going to be open. And he's going to take the names in that book. And he's going to place them over on one side. And them names that are not found written in that book, he's going to place them over on the other side. And you know what he's going to say to the ones that their name was not written in the book? It's going to be the part for me you workers of iniquity for I never knew you. Then you'll pay the cost. You'll pay the cost all through eternity. I'll tell you what, this is and I, I'm going to be flat out honest with you. One thing that discourages me more than anything else. And one thing that will cause me that I have trouble staying focused is when I'm up here preaching my heart out and people sit and not paying a bit of attention anymore. Amen. They sit there, they talk to one another. They whisper to one another. Some of them look like they're in a different plan, <laughs> in a different time zone. And it's hard to preach because it takes my mind off of what I'm trying to do and have to stay focused on the ones that ain't paying attention. So I think, I think what, what we need to do, and I think this is a good remedy, I think from here on out, if people can't pay attention, then we're going to bring and put them right here. <laughs> right on the front seat. <laughs> and that way you won't have no trouble paying attention. Amen. Because you're not only disrupting yourself, but you might be causing that person close to you. To die and go to hell. 
listen tonight, you'll live by the cost or you'll pay the cost. I'm trying to help. I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to show you the easy way out. Listen tonight. Take Jesus on what he has to offer you. Take him. Amen. And I'll guarantee you one thing. If you take him as your personal Savior tonight, you'll not regret a day. You'll not regret a day that you chose to walk with him. Amen. He's the sweetest thing that can ever happen to you. He's the best thing that can ever happen to you. So the piano player comes back. Amen. As we get us a song. Amen. Tonight, I want to ask you one question. Are you going to live by the cost or are you going to pay the cost? Which way do you want to leave out of this world? Amen. I want to leave out knowing Him as my Savior and as my King. Amen. I want to live in that place that He prepared. Amen. I, I don't have. I don't want to have to pay that day to go to heaven. You know what? You know what paying? You know what paying to go to hell puts me in the mind of. Now this is how much sense it makes. If I'd meet James out on the street and I'd go up and I'd say, hey, James, I need you to do me a favor. What's that? I will give you a hundred dollars if you'll just beat the living tar out of me. <laughs> just make me look like I've been hit with a Mack truck. I'm not going to for a minute, Just break the bones. <laughs> Just crush me. Just destroy me. And I'll pay you for it. That's what we're paying the devil to do. We're paying the devil to destroy us. We're paying the devil to send us to hell. We're paying the price to follow the devil. Amen. When we serve the Lord and we walk with the Lord and we follow Jesus, the price has already been paid for. If we go with the devil, we got to pay the father. Amen. You make sense out of that. You make sense out of that. I can't see nobody in their right mind want to pay to go to hell. When they don't have to pay a thing to go to hell because the cost has already been paid. Amen. So you're going to live by the cost or you're going to pay the cost. One of the two things. Because they ain't the two ways. That's up, down. That's heaven, hell. That's sweetness, happiness forever or torment forever. That's living in peace, living in torment. Living in a place where Jesus says, I am the light of the city and there'll be no more sun, no need of the sun or living in a place where the sun ain't never going to shine. Living in a place to where we'll have a new body, be able to jump straight up and down, amen, run up and down the streets of gold, or live in a body that is going to hurt 24 hours a day, 375 days a year. 24 hours a day. Because there ain't going to be no relief. So you want to live by the cost, or do you want to pay the cost? as we all stand and sing. Page 373 in the hymn book. <laughs> Thank you. 